back to another episode of Hermitcraft and Fly Gang today. We are at Hermit Thrills. We're pretty high up and I've been doing some some wonderful art installation dirt thingy. No, I'm only kidding. This is me planning out today's episode. I thought, you know what, I'll do a bit of planning beforehand and then we'll start, but I'm still quite not quite sure exactly where I'm going with this, so we'll have to see. But anyway, today. This may be a bit of a clue at what I'm going to be building. Let's actually, you know, get down somewhere. Hi, zombie. How you doing? Um, and take a quick look at it from back here. Let's take it a look at it from back here at the uh, the thing. Can you see those bits of dirt there? Yeah. Okay. So that top on there and that bottom one there, I believe, there at the back. Yep. Those two are at the back, and that is where I'm thinking about putting a sign. I need a sign for this arcade because look here, right there. It's only little. It's only a little arcade. We're gonna probably put something there as well but um you know I thought it might be a cool idea to put a sign now we do have a few issues in that this thing here um goes all over the place the end of games so we have to keep this nice and open so I believe putting it back there isn't going to cause an issue it means that it's out of the way so from here we can probably reach over there that's why I had to move this line back because you can see how like uh, really strange it is whoa Hello, that completely missed. And um, from up here, we can kind of get a better idea about where it's going to go. Now, I don't believe it's now in the way... No, it's not in the way from here. So it will end about here. Um, I might move it back again a couple blocks or something, just so it's properly out of the way. But yeah, we should go uh, straight forward to that one over there. I'm really bad at enderpearling today. This is dreadful. I'm glad that I'm not actually having a go at this, because this is, this is dreadful. Um, so hopefully that shouldn't be in the way. I'm actually going to continue around here, just checking and double checking that everything is out of the way and then we shall get started building it but first I need to go and head to get some materials like nether quartz and things and uh, wait where do we go from here right oh down 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 to there I always forget I'm always like wait what where <laughs> anyway so I'll catch you guys in a second when I am ready to go so I'm up here raring to go, and this is going to be a very, very strange thing to do. I don't really feel like time-lapsing it, but maybe maybe I should. I'm not quite sure. I am kind of waiting on the replay mod to do some super fancy things in the future, so I don't want to overdo it right now before I have that, because that is going to make things a whole bunch, hopefully, easier. It's going to take a little while to get used to, but anyway. So, um, I haven't really explained what the sign's going to say. It's just basically going to say Arcade. Uh, but on a diagonal, which means that it actually, like, if it, if this, if the word arcade was going to be, you know, um, not on a diagonal, kind of on a horizontal, um, axis, then it wouldn't need to take up too much space. But the problem is, this is right in the corner. And also, I want to put something arcade related down here, which we might do this episode as well, depending on how long this takes. But, um, we're gonna have to build the letters on, on diagonal. Now, I have them planned out. Um, and this is the center, this one here is the center, so I'm going to put a letter that starts here and the letter that ends here and then go out from there. I think that's going to be my best way, so I'm going to try and build a letter, we'll see how hard it is to build. And uh, after we've done that, we'll then put a backing on it that should hopefully look pretty cool, and then hopefully it looks good from over there. I just, yeah, I haven't really kind of seen it in this kind of angle before so hopefully you'll be able to read it from down there if not we might have a bit of an issue but um let's go ahead build one of the letters and see what it looks like c and an a we have them both the middle two letters in arcade c and a sweet they don't look too bad do they i think they look pretty funky especially from this level they look really, really good from this level if you were to watch, look at them from here it would be great although you're not gonna be able to see them from here although maybe i guess if you were up top of the uh up top the big top <laughs> over there, the big top tent, um, then uh, maybe you'd be able to see it pretty well. But uh, yeah, they didn't take too long. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to just like carry on, uh, build all the letters. Um, and also we'll have time for building something down there. Currently, in my mind, I'm thinking of a massive um, Mario block. I'm not quite sure why they're called the question blocks with a question mark on the side. They probably have a name. I'm dreadful apparently at remembering my Mario uh uh, knowledge. That's probably because I haven't played it in a long while, but um, yeah, so they look pretty awesome. I really, really do like this style of letter, and you know what? I'm going to carry on building the rest, and then we'll get to the backdrop, which should hopefully make them stand out even more. So there is the arcade. Sweet! So I'm going to take a quick... Oh, apparently we're going to go in this mode. Oh yeah, look how cool that looks. That looks pretty awesome. Also, we're getting a beautiful 
Beautiful sunrise, I believe. Uh, yeah, I've made this whole thing in the dark, which wasn't helpful. Uh, very lucky that I didn't get shot down. And wow, actually, you know what? I'm glad that I should have really got rid of that dirt in the middle there, but that's fine. You can kind of get a really good... Oh, wow, that actually looks really awesome. You know what? I'm actually pretty... Pretty impressed with that. That That is actually pretty readable from down here, which is something I was quite worried about. Um, that you wouldn't be able to read it, it would just be a jumble of things up there, but you know what, that definitely says arcade. Excuse that little bit of dirt in the middle, but that looks really awesome, and it does look pretty central. It wouldn't matter if it was off a few blocks, no one's going to be counting or anything, but, um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that, and it's not too close to that either. That, that goes basically straight up, so it doesn't cut off that corner, so that should be fine, but, um, all we need to do now is get rid of all that dirt, Make ourselves another dirt platform, probably, and uh, we can get on with the backdrop. Now, what I'm planning, I think, let's see if we can actually get up there right now. Uh, firstly, let's go to our chest, which I believe is just up here, just up this ladder that I put here. Very handy, very handy. And my mouse is... Oh, my mouse hasn't died. I thought it literally just died. It literally just disappeared off the screen for a moment. Um, so we're going to go with blue and red. Uh, blue and red? Yellow and red. Because, you know, Hermit Thrills. It's got to have a yellow and red theme. At least that's what I'm sticking to. I don't know about anyone else. I mean, yeah, that's not really yellow and red. Um, that's that's yellow and red. I have kind of gone with it in in general. Uh, and in here, inside the actual arcade, I have gone with uh, yellow and red again. Just because it looks pretty cool keeping it all a similar colour. Um, you know, with the bricks and the, the sandstone over there, that works pretty well. So anyway, let's head up. I've got a ladder over there somewhere, as long as there's no creeper. Which, uh, there was about three creepers wandering around just a minute ago. So, yeah, so what I'm planning is... Oh god, we're going to have to build some kind of, like, back, uh, backing kind of scaffolding. Um, I, guess, I guess I could have done this like the Hollywood sign and had, like, a whole bunch of fences holding it up or something on the mountain, but I didn't really, really fancy... Really, really? I didn't really... <laughs> I didn't really fancy, um, putting it up against the wall or getting rid of a whole bunch of, um, you know, ground or anything going on. So let's quickly get rid of this middle bit here, because you are in the way, dude. You are in the way, and we definitely don't need you again. Uh, I think that looks pretty awesome, and we don't need to take a look at it from this level. And uh, let's make sure we haven't got any skeletons around. I think they're all uh, they're all burnt up, so that should be nice. But yeah, what I'm planning to do is put kind of yellow behind it all, and then like a border along the bottom of red. And I think that will look really, really awesome. It, they both contrast super, super well with quartz. So I think that's what I'm going to get on with now. I'm going to go do that. We're going to make sure we have a whole bunch of scaffolding here, which will make it nice and safe and easy for us to use. And uh, then we'll take another look at it. Um, but I think it's going to hopefully work pretty well, and it shouldn't get in the way of this thing. No, it shouldn't. We are, we are kind of cutting a bit fine, but I think we're all good, and it, you know, as long as you can still get up there, I don't believe it's going to be an issue. Cool, let's get on with it. Yellow is now done on the backdrop, and I'm thinking, yeah, over here, it's harder to read it, but it looks quite, oh god, really? Really, dude? I couldn't even hear you! He just came out of nowhere. I wondered, wondered what I got hit by then. I thought maybe it would have been a skeleton or something. But, um, yeah, it looks kind of more abstract from down here. But I think what it needs is um, some kind of red border, I think. And I think I'm just going to put it one behind. I might actually even just fill in, fill in the hole back, perhaps. I'm not sure if, if, if it's actually needed, though. Like, uh, let's quickly go up and check the back out. Um, they're not quite on just a straight diagonal. You can see that there are sometimes there are two blocks uh, because I have it right against the letters. But uh, what I'm thinking for the border, let's quickly get to a bit that we can actually reach. We might have to sleep in a bit as well. Is having it kind of like here, you know, um, so that the border is a little bit further back. Let's have a quick look right now, just before it gets night time. Uh, that is that going to whoa? Is that even going to show? Who is behind a, a tree right now? We might clear out some trees from behind there as well, just because it's looking a little bit busy. But yeah, you can kind of see there a little bit uh, what it'll look like. It'll look like it's coming out. Um, and that's going to work better than having the border in front. So uh, I think that's going to look super cool. But anyway, I'm going to sleep before we get a whole bunch of things spawning up there. Because I haven't done the lighting yet. Oops. Um, and I'll catch you guys when that is now done. So it's now the next day. But there we are. There it is in all its glory. I do believe I need to fix the red on either side though. I haven't... I really just realised I haven't somehow gone around the yellow with the red. I think I went at the wrong angle. 
uh, either side, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I guess I could actually take that yellow and take it down towards there and there, like the, the actual sides of the mountain. I don't know, but I'm trying to wait for it to become nighttime, which he's going to do in a second, just because I've put glowstone just behind it. I'm hoping, I mean, really, if things spawn on it, it's not too much of an issue because obviously it's so far up up there that you know no one's going to be too near it but yeah the closer you get to it obviously the harder it is to read but still it's still pretty obvious that this is arcade from here so i'm not too worried about that uh too much but now i've been looking at this area down here and this is way 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 too small here and you can see that i've <laughs> you can see that i uh i actually took down a spoiler wall i had to put a spoiler wall up for a second up there but that's fine i had to remove that this is all the dirt that's everywhere now um, but yes, I was going to plan to put the, uh, the question mark block from Mario here, but to make a decent sized one it needs to be like 14 or 16 blocks wide or something, but that interferes with this corner here if I want to put it, uh, you know, starting there and there, you know. Uh, and I don't want it to go too far into the room, so yeah, this is about right, but that's not really going to work. So I'm planning to maybe put some little Space Invader characters um, there are some designs that I found on my old Patreon Creative World, um, and they're like little Space Invader guys that are kind of very, very similar to the style of the arcade. They're not on a diagonal, but I think it'll be kind of cool to have them just uh, around everywhere. So, you know, one, one, one could like fit on the side of there, and you know, one down here, up, up there, maybe some lasers or something. I'm not quite sure. Maybe we could have some beacons fit in with a design somewhere. Um, how many beacons are there at home that thrills for me to give, give a go? Uh, only one. <laughs> that's because my other one's at the end portal currently, but that's not too, not too much of an issue because, I mean, that looks pretty okay. It doesn't, uh, is it quite night time yet? Not really, but I think that looks okay. There is lighting obviously coming from these things. I've got rid of loads of torches up there though, just so that it, it brightens it up a little bit. But let me know if there's a better way of lighting this. There might be, and I think it might be better to put it behind the, the uh, I don't know, behind the block somehow, I'm not quite sure. It, I wish maybe I'd moved the backdrop for it one block back so I could have actually put lighting behind the letters. But either way, it doesn't matter and it lights up fairly well. I mean, you can see the lighting from the top and the bottom just a little bit, just a the, just the smidge. You can see the glowstone down there. Um, but anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some quartz together. We're going to start building some characters here and there. Maybe we'll even put the little shooter gun thing at the bottom, which... I'm not even sure what it is, I guess a spaceship or something? Been a long time since I've played Space Invaders, but I think that glows well enough um, in the area. I might make it glow a bit more, but yeah, I might try some stuff with some beacons, some Space Invader guys, and things like that. And we'll also try and fix the uh, the edges of the arcade sign, because they're not quite right. But that looks pretty awesome, and yeah, I'll come back to you guys when I've done a bit of uh, testing with the little characters. Well, I believe it's now done, and I'm excited to see it from over here. It's going to be a little bit out of my render distance, because my render distance is kind of low, as you can see. Look at that, it's all in the dark. But I thought it'd be super cool to walk over from here and get kind of a gist of it. Now, I'm not quite sure about this guy. This is the little spaceship guy at the bottom, obviously shooting the aliens. Um, now, all the aliens are the same. Currently, I'm going to change some to maybe look like some of the other... Uh, ones, I believe there are like three or something, three different kinds of pixel uh, characters, I guess. Uh, that guy I want a bit higher as well, but generally, that looks pretty nice. And some of them are light lit up from the glowstone behind the sign. And just generally, I kind of like it. I do kind of like that. I think that looks pretty awesome. Let's actually, you know what, let's quickly get a quite nice view from it from up here. That'll be pretty awesome. Then you can kind of get a nice face on view for it. Um, and... Yeah, I really do like it. Um, I do like that thing down there, but in the middle it kind of cuts off the arcade, the word arcade right there in the centre, which I'm not sure about. Maybe I should put it there and have it going up that side. I'm not quite sure. Uh, we could have maybe one each side. I'm not quite sure, but I'll leave it. That goes up to you. Um, and yeah, just generally, I think they look pretty awesome. I might even actually just put some lighting behind a couple more of these guys, or even just every single one of them. Actually, you know what? Let's quickly, let's quickly just do that. Let's put a torch on the back of one of the ones that we can reach from somewhere. We can reach this guy, so let's see if we can... Oh, we can't put any torches behind them. That's an issue. Hmm. Okay, well, do I have any... No, I don't, I don't... Okay, let's, let's, let's give this a go. So I'm going to make a slab real quick. Let's try this guy. I think it mm, might cause an issue. I'm not quite sure. Maybe having one torch behind? I'm not sure. Let's try it on that guy. And I believe there's another guy down here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy here. And we'll try it on this guy as well. Just uh, have a quick 
look see if that actually changes it it might become an issue okay we're not going to get on that <laughs> that uh that thing there anymore but yeah that lights it up way more and i think that looks awesome the fact that the actual land around it is dark and then the rest is all the other characters are lit up and i think maybe just lighting up the letters a little bit more might make it more impactful so i think that's it guys i think i'm going to end this episode here let's take one quick look at what is going on up here with this guy uh, he's, he's just on the diagonal, he's just chilling there. I was going to have him on the side like these guys, but I don't know. And I've just got some temporary torches behind there. When I when I have the lighting sorted, I'll probably use glowstone and stuff, um, just because that is what I've used everywhere else. But anyway, I'm super happy with how this has turned out. Do leave a like if you do like it and you enjoyed this episode. But that is it, guys. Sadly, I will finish this episode. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.